Bruce Reimer was born a boy in 1965. Due to a botched circumcision, his penis was unrepairable. Reimer's mother saw a psychologist on TV named John Money, who was one of the very first to talk about gender identity. The idea that gender is not your biological sex, but what you think is your sex. He thought if a boy was socialized to be a girl, he'd be a girl, despite the chemistry in the brain being different and there being physical differences between men and women. John Money thought physical and mental differences won't make a difference, despite the whole field of biology disagreeing with him. Reimer's mother called up John Money, who she saw on the television, whom agreed to work on fixing her child. John Money had the rest of Reimer's penis removed and removed Reimer's testicles and had everything replaced with vagina reconstruction surgery. Reimer has a twin brother named Brian. Brian was identical in every way except he didn't have a botched penis and was not going through gender reassignment. John Money had the twins reenact sexual acts on each other including thrustment movements and Reimer has the bottom roll with Brian's crotch up against Reimer's buttocks. John Money had the kids remove their clothes and did genital inspections where he'd take pictures. John Money was undoubtedly a pedophile who often defended pedophilia in his studies and said there was a difference between affectional pedophilia and sadistic pedophilia. Money asserted that affectional pedophilia was about love and not sex. And John Money once stated that if he were to see a case of a boy aged 10 or 11 who intensely erotically attracted towards a man in his 20s or 30s, if the relationship is totally mutual and the bonding is genuinely totally mutual, then he would not call it pathological in any way. Reimer was 13. He was still convinced he was a girl, but he knew things weren't right and always felt out of place. He wanted to climb trees instead of play with dolls. His brother, in rare occasions, let him play with action figures when his parents weren't looking. Around this time, John Money gave Raymer estrogen, inducing breast development. Being forced into being a girl made him have suicidal depression by the time he was 13, and he said he'd take his own life if he'd seen John Money again. John Money lied about the procedure and said it was a wild success and the child's behavior is so clearly that of a little girl and so different from the boyish ways of her twin brother. Reimer's parents admitted to lying about the success of the procedure. David Reimer was ostracized and bullied by his peers who dubbed him a cave woman and neither frilly dresses nor female hormones made him feel female. Eventually, when he was 15, his parents finally told him what had happened to him and that he was never really a girl. Having been informed of his past by his father, Reimer decided to assume a male gender identity, calling himself David Reimer instead. He underwent treatment to reverse the reassignment, including testosterone injections, a double mastectomy, and phalloplasty operations. Traumatized along with his twin brother Brian, they try to move on. Reimer's brother Brian developed schizophrenia and took his life later on. At the age of 38 years old, he was a wreck and unemployed due to emotional issues. His wife then later left him due to his numerous problems. And then he blew his brains out with a sawed off shotgun. The point of this tale isn't to say gender isn't real, nor that gender dysphoria isn't real. It clearly is real. David clearly went through gender dysphoria. He was forced to be a gender he wasn't comfortable with, and it literally destroyed him and his family's life. This shows that gender dysphoria is an utterly terrible thing to go through, and that we should respect people's genders. But that's not to say that the right-wingers aren't right too, though. Forcing young people to go through operations and therapy to change their gender is a terrible idea and should only be reserved for adults who better know what decision to make. Making the wrong decision will guarantee to ruin that child's life forever. Normalizing permanent gender swapping is dangerous for that reason because many will make that swap prematurely and be uncomfortable in their skin for the rest of their lives and always have gender dysphoria, the very problem they were aiming to prevent. I hope this video was informative and opened your eyes, and I hope that you can discuss this in the comments section being civil. And yes, all the information I provided in this video was true. Later.